and here are several tips for you to use your new Mercedes MBUX system. Hello, Emilio. That's a nice little touch, isn't it? Okay. So first thing we should start off with is actually the home menu. Now this is the normal setup for the navigation home menu. However, there is a second choice you can have, whether you know this or not, here's how you do it. Because sometimes when you get in the car, it may not look like this when you go to your navigation or any other thing. It'll look slightly different. Here's how you do it. You hold the home button. And you can pick the zero layer, which is the new look for the Mercedes navigation. Or you can do the classic, which eh, I kind of like that because I'm used to it. Zero layer just makes all the options just already on the screen already in little tiles. That way it's slightly easier for you to just like use your radio or whatever you want to use, your phone, all that without having to go to the menu and choose it through the carousel slide. Now when you choose zero layer, it'll have a dynamic layout. So sometimes your radio won't be here. It'll have your phone and it says introduction, which is kind of a good thing. But what you can also do is if you want to do stuff with it, you just swipe up and it opens it a little bigger. Swipe back down, turns it to normal, swipe up. You can see all your contacts, give you quick examples. And if you slide down, it actually gets rid of them. And then when you press the home button, all your icons will show up in like a little phone grid. Instead of just a carousel going left to right, it's one big square. So you can just pick them semi easier if you like. But I prefer the classic look because I don't like the things in the way. I don't know, for some reason it bothers me. Another good thing to know is that you actually have quick commands for your navigation. So instead of always having to yell, hey Mercedes, Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? There we go. <laughs> and here the prompt, you can actually just not say Hey Mercedes at all. And I'll show you a quick list of the commands. So what you do is you go to your settings and then you go to system and the Hey Mercedes and you go to the little cog right here. Now you turn on direct commands. Please and that... select from the following locations. Uh oh. Where do you... Cancel. Please repeat. Okay, it's going nuts right now. But anyway, here's this. Hit that and make sure direct commands are on. And basically, and you hit the little icon right there that says I for information. And this will give you the list of all the things you can just say to the Mercedes without having to say, hey, Mercedes. And it's a whole list of things. So I'll give you an example. Uh, what are we doing? Um, can you hear the music? Mute music. Unmute music. Music louder. See? Simple like that. Now also a feature that I didn't really know about until I actually played with the system a little bit is actually it has a geographic parking location turner honor. <laughs> Basically what that means is that instead of when you get to like a parking area that you normally go to like every day, like say like your house or your work or whatever, basically what you can do instead of always like having to press the button to have the, all the cameras pop out, you can actually have it just do it automatically. So what you do to set that up is you hit the parking and then this little icon right here, as you can see, it has a little like pin for like locations. Whoa, it went away. Let's see if it comes back. Hold on. Okay, there we go, right there. So you press this and it says, this position has already been saved, which I already saved it. And I'll give you the demonstration purposes on how it works. You just basically drive. And once you hit the designated spot where it's located, this will turn on automatically and actually have a dynamic view of like everything that you need to see. So it just makes it slightly easier when you get to a parking spot. 
without having to actually press the button or throw it in reverse to turn it on. It'll just turn on automatically every time you arrive at that location. Very convenient, very great. And one last thing is for the actual uh, tachometer screen. Very simple thing. Uh, normally, when you want to switch your views and everything, you have to hit the home button. It goes home, and then you scroll through and pick whichever one you want. Now, if you just press, if you just want to go back to the classic at any time, you just hit the back button. It'll automatically always go back to the classic view. So we'll go to sport, classic. Every time you press the back button, I wonder if you can see that. Home, sport. Let's go home and understated. Now you press back again, and it always goes, it always defaults back to the classic view, and you can just switch through whichever things you like in the middle. Extra bonus for you. You're welcome. So if you like this video, if it helped you in any way, feel free to hit the thumbs up button. I would appreciate it. And subscribe if you'd like to see more about other cool stuff. Thank you very much. My name is Emilio. Enjoy the rest of your day.